What's up everybody? Hey, welcome to the channel. This is Living in Pensacola, Florida, and I am your wonderful, good-looking host, Tim Macklin, broker owner of First Class Real Estate. Hey, got a good one for you. So, my parents recently moved here. They had bought a Class A RV and moved here, and it was amazing how much difficulty they had. You know, from GPS bringing them down a weird road, a road that had low overhangs, trees, maybe the road wasn't too wide, going to an RV park that didn't allow for big rigs. So I wanted to make this video to help you traveler if you're coming to the area, give you a little insight on a few RV parks. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, so none of these are any in particular order, but I'm gonna give you six. And one of the first ones is Five Flags RV Resort up there off Pine Forest and I-10. Super, super eclectic spot, really cool. They got some really cool art, awesome staff. They, they, they take big rigs, pet friendly, perfect location. So if you're out and about and if you're trying to find a spot, it's right off the freeway, check out Five Flags RV Resort. Now, the next one is Pensacola, RV park. You know, this is another place that takes big rigs. They have Wi-Fi, you know, super cool spot. If you're coming into town, if you want to get a little bit more in town, check out the Pensacola RV park. Now, if you're military, retired, anything like that, you got to check out the NAS RV park as well. Super, super cool right on the beach. But the thing is you have to be military. So unfortunately, I've never been able to stay on there since the base is open to the public now. I have driven by, checked it out. I haven't been able to stay there, but if you have access to the base and you can stay there, first of all, thank you for your service, but you should go check it out. So if you want to get out of town a little bit, Sunburst RV Resorts up in Milton, they got a big place there. Like most places, they got 30 and 50 amp hookups, but they have a pool, they have tennis courts, they got a, an indoor clubhouse, game room, really, really cool spot. So if you want to get out of town a little bit, go check out Sunburst. Now, I'll tell you, the last two Two, I think are gonna be the coolest because if you're coming here, why not stay on the beach? You know, when my parents moved here, they actually lived on the beach before I did. Yes, I've gone and stayed out there for a week or something like that, but they lived permanently six months or something like that on the beach, so super jealous. But these two, the first one, Navarre Beach. Super, super cool spot. You're just down a little bit more east on Navarre Beach, which is a really cool area. The Navarre Beach Pier is actually the longest pier along the Panhandle. Now, last but not least is the Pensacola Beach RV Park. I mean, this is pretty cool, right on the beach. Now, the cool thing about that park is it has big rig, all that kind of stuff, has a pool, but you have the sneaky tiki right there. You have a little tiki bar that is right on the premises, right on the beach. The only thing is it's not open during the winter time, but really cool spot. Also, if you have any friends that have come visit that have boats, they, they actually have a dock. So we actually, when my parents were staying there, took the boat, docked it up, hung out, had lunch, walked around. You're right there. There's so many restaurants, so many bars because you are there right there on Pensacola Beach. So those are my top six RV parks that you have to check out. Now also keep in mind, if you're coming into town and you want to look at some real estate, make sure you hit me up. My name's Tim Eklund, first class real estate 850 636